The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the May 11th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of this market. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there too. You can you can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, I got all the U.S. indices trading to the downside, with the exception being the New York Stock Exchange is up about three points right now. Probably will turn red here shortly. Dow's off 119, S&P 29, NASDAQ 244, Russell's down 19, Semi's off 43, Tranny's down 144. You've got gold up 11 bucks, silver 13 cents, Lice Week Crude is a big winner out there. <laughs> Change natural gas up 21 cents in the 30 treasury, up 28 ticks, 139.15. So look, I'm going to attempt to do a show here today, battling through a uh, case of bronchitis. That's the reason why I've been off the last couple of days. Uh, the throat or the uh, the uh, bronchial tubes have opened up slightly. But if I do start hacking away here, then that's a possibility. One, I'm going to go ahead and cut the mic. But if it uh, if it really starts to get in the way, I don't really need to be coughing in your ear, so to speak. So uh, the energy levels tone down you know my energy level from a zero to 10 i'm about a minus 10 as we speak right now uh, but let's see if we can do let's see if we can get through the show so let's begin <clears throat> let's begin by taking a look at um let's take a look at the indices out here and the primary indices so the upper left you've got the dow then the s p the nasdaq russell semis and the new york stock exchange so if you take a look at the dow there's at least two different A to B equals CD patterns that are underway. The first one uh, had a one-to-one -one price projection of uh, 32.021, which basically we got down to yesterday. And so uh, now that just because you hit a one-to-one -one level, that doesn't mean that the move is over, at least in the work that I do. The work that I do, I look for a confirmation. A confirmation is really that bullish or bearish reversal candle. Here, it's a bullish reversal candle. So that's one possible A to B equals CD. It says we should be on the lookout for a bullish reversal candle, which would then at least give us some type of um, indication of a counter trend move. There's the larger A to B equals CD pattern that just has a one-to-one -one price projection of 30 812. In either case, there's A to B equals CD patterns to the downside, none of which have been confirmed. But we know what to look for. The S&P's A to B equals CD is really clear. There's only one. I could draw an A to B equals CD along the C to D leg out there, but not need it. We don't need to do that. Why don't we need to do that? Because price is almost back to the one-to-one -one level for the S&P, which would be 39.33. That does not mean price will stop there. Price could easily make its move to the <coughs> next area, which would be 37.42. The NDX 100... There's only one A to B equals CD pattern to draw in here. And this is, the, this, is, this is where it gets ugly. Because here, we're not really close to the one-to-one -one level, which is 11,520. 
We're trading at 12, 110 now. And the Russell 2000, it has two different, at least two different A to B equals CD patterns. So at this stage here, the larger one, by the way, takes us down to 1574. Still, we'll be on the lookout for a bullish reversal candle to confirm that some type of counter trend rally is likely to unfold. The semiconductor index, two different A to B equals CD patterns. The larger one, 2595 is its price projection. The smaller one, 2753. And finally, there's the New York Stock Exchange. And the New York Stock Exchange earlier in the day was showing was definitely showing signs of a bottom. Why? Because it had a bullish engulfing candle. Yesterday's candle, the body, so small, so pretty easy to form that bullish engulfing candle. But that is not what we have at 111 in the afternoon. Now, the New York Stock Exchange was positive, I believe. And maybe Tom could answer the question. I don't know. But inside the New York Stock Exchange, there's a fairly decent percentage of closed-end bond funds. And I think that's the reason why, or one of the reasons, perhaps, why the New York Stock Exchange was trading to the upside. The other pattern going on inside the New York Stock Exchange, well, let's go see if that pattern is still there. That is, is a divergence pattern. The divergence pattern is when we take a look at the advanced decline oscillator. Now, the advanced decline oscillator is the difference between the 19 to 39 period exponential moving average of the advanced decline line. Whew, that's a mouthful, but that's what it is. Now, when price makes a lower low, if you take a look at the upper panel, as it was, but the advanced decline oscillator is not making a lower low, which it has not, not at least as of 112 in the afternoon. That's a divergence pattern that says pay attention for some type of bottoming signal inside the New York Stock Exchange. And that's why taking a look at, at it today, if it does generate a bullish reversal candle, it's going to signal signal to you and I that at least what the New York Stock Exchange should do is work off its oversold condition. When you get below minus 150 and we're minus 165 right now, you're in the oversold condition area. So those are the A to B equals CD patterns that are underway out here. And uh, let's see, I believe we've got a caller on the line. If you give me a moment here, we've got Sue in Bethesda, Maryland. Sue, thanks for calling. Oh. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Hi, thank you. Thank you so much, Steve, for taking my call. My pleasure. Yeah, I have a question. The, the, the name of the stock is LBPS. Okay. It's been down for many time. I was thinking to hold for long term, but, you know, it keeps going down and down. It does. Can you, you're, can it's you almost near. Me? So you, you're, you're a long-term holder of this, and this is uh, right now. No. The, I'm not really a long-term holder, but this one I have it for a long time. Okay. Well, so let's see if we can try to find some good news for you out here. Oh, that would be thank nice. Thank you so much. Well, yeah, but uh, so let, I'm going to switch over. Are you watching us on Tiger TV by any chance? Yes, I do right now, yes. Okay, so let's first start with your next potential level of support. And that level of support would come from what I refer to as the TAS market profiles. And the TAS market profiles on my charts, at least these set of charts here, show three different blue horizontal lines. The only um, profile that price is trading above right now is the weekly. And that profile level, or the bottom of which, is where buyers are lined up is at $2.92. So we're trading at $3.10. If on a weekly basis, Sue, price were to close below two ninety two, then that signal is that price is likely to head down to its all-time low out here. And that would get us back into about the two seventy four level. So. Can you hold on through this break here? And when we come back to the break, we'll take a look at our other white background charts. And then I want you to ask me any questions that you have that um, uh, maybe come from our conversation. So please hold on. Appreciate we'll be back that. with yeah, Sue. Thank you so much. I will hold you on. You bet. We'll be back with Sue in Bethesda, Maryland, taking a look at uh, 4D Pharma. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. 
and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at uh, 4D Pharma out here, ticker symbol LBPS, and uh, Sue. So on a monthly time frame, this actually bottomed with what I refer to as a TD9 count. It does that in March of 2022, so just a couple months ago. So that's yeah. your bottom signal. But when we take a look at and price on a daily basis is pulling back to support, that's 292. So price should find support there. And if it doesn't, as we said, going into the break, what price will likely then do is go target the bottom of that March 20 low, 22, March 22 low. So that's one thing to take a look at. When I look at a daily time frame, no, here's what the stock actually did so I can help you out. Um, when you had a back in the March, uh, March 25th, the week of March 25th, you had a big spike to the upside when price got up to yeah. about 887, right? 887. Mm -hmm. 887 on a weekly basis was the TD9 count breakdown level. And with price being unable to get through that, it was sending you a real significant message there. So that's the first thing to take a look at. On a daily time frame, so after it does that spike, it pulls back on a daily basis. It forms another TD9 count bottom. It does that on April the 6th. And then what does price do? Well, it doesn't really spike higher, but it moves higher into its daily TD9 count breakdown level, 532. What this stock is telling you is every opportunity that it has to rally, it's been unable to break through key resistance levels. Um, so I'm not seeing a ton of positive information here for you other than what I've shared so far, which is just to watch the 292 level and to expect that if price closes below that, to look at lower prices ahead. But I don't have any other real bottoming signals, just price really pulling back to support. So I, I don't know if that helps you out, but what what other questions? What else can I possibly help you with here? Yeah, but what, I, what I mean, it, it, it looks like there's no future or what? I mean, this, this stock. Well, I, you know, I well, 
I guess fundamentally, you know, and I'm, I, I used to be a fundamental trader. That was before I met Tom O'Brien. And uh, not that I don't take a look at fundamentals, but, you know, th this company has not made any money. And in 2021, oh, wow. I don't recall when their fiscal year ended in 2021, but that was their worst performance so far. So they're, they're going in the opposite direction. It's not really surprising to see the stock behavior here of what buyers and sellers are doing. But, you know, the monthly has a potential bottom, but the problem is, is that every opportunity to rally has found resistance. So you really want to see this break through some resistance levels out there. So, so I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for Perfect. calling in. You bet. Yeah, man. You bet. And I have another one, AUI. Steve, would you please, AUI? Sure, we can take a look at it. So Yamada Gold out here, uh, it's going to take yeah. just a moment for, yeah, it's going to take just a moment for these white background charts to populate. But uh, I will, let me see here. So you're in you're in Yamada Gold, is that correct? Yeah, it's AUI, it's a gold. Yep, so let's take a look at this. a long time, too. You keep losing money. Uh, so this... Uh, let me do this here. So in the case of Yamada Gold, the only positive, if I'm going to find one, is that on a daily basis, price is pulled back. And it did this yesterday, Sue. It pulled back and yeah. it tested support. And support was $4.92. $4.92 was the TD9 count breakout level. So if you and, and this oscillator and change line here changed colors yesterday. So what price should do not that it's a bottom. It can be a bottom when price pulls back to support. It's not a bottoming pattern per se, like an A to B equals CD pattern, things of that sort. But price should be able to make its way up to about the 541, 547 level. If it can clear 555, 551, then you should see a move to 572. But the concern here, or the concern for me, is that on the trading day of May 9th, there was volume of 23 million shares. Yesterday was 29 million shares. That was even worse. So there's actually an a, a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside in Yamada Gold. I'm going to show you that to you on a different screen. And so now you've got the black background screens. And I'll draw in the A to B equals CD to the downside here. The A point is going to be April 18th high. The B point is going to be the low for May 2nd. And the C point is going to be the high for May 5th. As long as price remains under 518, that's the B point out there. And that had volume again of 27 million shares. Yesterday was 29 million shares. There's your confirmation of a move lower. If price closed below 492, that's its breakout support level. If price closes below that, then that's going to suggest that Yamada Gold should run down to 444 to 411. That's what I see when I take a look at the daily time frame chart. Let me see, Sue, if there's anything else that's out here that's of significance. Not really that I see in Yamada Gold. So it's got the potential and it should bounce up to the 541, 551 level out there. But if it closes below 492, I believe that was the number, let me make sure here. If it closes below 492, very likely you're going to see 444 to 411 out there for Yamada Gold. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank oh, you're you so welcome. Much, Steve. I appreciate that so much. Thank you for sure, your time. Sure. You're, Thank you're you. most welcome. You bet. You're most welcome. That was Sue in Bethesda, Maryland. So let me do this here. Folks, I think there were a couple questions inside the Tiger's Den. I believe one was to take a look at Microsoft, and that was asking for support. Um, may have been asking for uh, additional information as well, but give me a moment here. Make sure I'm on the black. Yeah. So let's put up Microsoft, and we're going to look here for support, at least first, on this set of charts is, um, boy, oh, boy. So we're looking for support here. We're looking for the TAS market profile support. We're below the daily. We're below the weekly right now. And we're below the monthly. The monthly level of support is 264.33. So there's your levels of support or, or one set of levels of support. We're going to change screens here. Let's go over to the white background screen, see if we can find any breakout levels that price might be pulling back into or any kind of bottoming signals. And, you know, on a monthly basis, what Microsoft suggests to us is if it closed below 264.33, 211.94 would be next up. In the case of the weekly chart, price is now negating a TD9 count bottom out here. That suggests that Microsoft's level of support would be its breakout area for its weekly time frame. That level is 249.81. The daily time frame, no bottoming signals there. You're in bar number five, so no TD9 count. No A to B equals CD to the downside. In fact, the A to B equals CD to the downside on Microsoft. So the B point here is going to be 46 million. It was passed with 47. Son of a gun. Okay, so Microsoft, 
has a confirmed A to B equals C D. Now I'm going to switch back to the black background charts and show you what this is showing us. I didn't realize this, but it is what it is. It has a one-to-one -one price projection. Let me just switch the screens right now. So the one-to-one -one gets us to 244.93. But if you take a look at that retracement, a 45% retracement, odds would favor that if, in fact, that's the pattern that completes here, that where this is going to head to is more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD to downside. And that more than the 1.272 is 232.43 out there. Um, let me see if there's anything. So I don't see anything else on my charts out here um, that are going to help us with Microsoft. So I hope that that helps you out. There was a question to take a look at the U.S. dollar index as well. So for that, let's switch over to this chart. And on this chart here, ah, where did it happen? So with black background screens, yeah. So Coda was asking if there were any kind of topping signals, I believe was the question. And Coda on the, uh, the one of our dinners on April 28th, that was a TD9 count top. That says that its threshold resistance is at the 103.95 level. That is exactly where the top of its profile is at. Now, ever since that uh, uh, TD9 count top, it's been a sideways move. A close above 103.95 would say we're up, up and away. That would be to the 109.58, 109.47 level. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. So I picked the perfect time to uh, get laid up and get uh, sick, be a little under the weather with all the hockey games. Uh, and when I'm sleeping or trying to sleep at night, the wheezing that comes from my breathing keeps me up. It's about the, you know, I've got this terrible case of tinnitus. I've had it for, Lord knows, 20 years or so. So we, but my, what it sounds like inside my head is going to a high energy set of power lines. And you hear that little hum that's going, that goes on. That's what I hear all the time. So pretty amazing that what that the noise that I hear above that is the uh, wheezing that's out there. So what that means is that I've been able to stay up and actually watch the L.A. games out there, which, you know, don't end till about one, one, one thirty in the morning, East Coast time. But, you know, and I love hockey, so it's my favorite time of the year from a hockey standpoint. But back to Apple, not back to Apple, but that was a question that came in from G-Man in our Tiger's Den. Apple's got a couple of different A to B equals C D patterns. The large one would take us the one to one would take us to 146.77. And that's assuming you get a close below 150.10 today with volume of more than uh, 108 million. You're already at 70. So it seems like that is a real possibility. There's a smaller A to B equals C D, or there's an A to B equals C D, I should say, along the C to D leg, gives us price projection down to the 140.14 area. Now to change screens out here. There are other possible levels of support on the way lower for Apple, those supports being the TD9 count breakout levels. Well, in the case of the weekly chart, you're looking at 143.16. So it's within inside those A to B equals CD patterns. The daily time frame doesn't have any kind of bottoming signal. You're in bar number five here. Um, the only intraday time frame with a bottoming signal, really the 195 minute chart it's in the bar number the bar following bar number nine of a TD9 count out here. So you can watch that low. And if there's a close below that, that's going to suggest that Apple is going to continue to move lower out there. Let's get to a couple of our questions that have come in through email. To make sure, I'm, uh, yeah, it was on the right charts here. This one coming in from Hector Happy says uh, Microsoft on a weekly week looking. Okay, so we already covered Microsoft. Isn't this isn't this by the D point ready to confirm? No. So Microsoft on a weekly looking at A B C D down. So let me go back to the Microsoft charts out here. And I'm going to switch back to the black background charts because possibly I've overlooked something. So let's go back and see if, in fact, I have. Um, so let's get to the weekly time frame chart, which is a larger time frame. So in the weekly chart here, I don't actually have an A. Well, it's got the A to B equals. Sorry about that. Give me a moment. I'm just trying to spread this out, make it a little bit easier for us to see. So the A point, that's easy to pick out. The B point is easy to pick out. That's going to be the low out here, Hector from uh, March the 7th. And that low, the week that began March 7th, is 270 even, Stephen. 184 million shares. We're below that right now. Uh, we're halfway through the week, and there's 108 million shares. So this has volume in it to the downside. So the weekly chart, the A to B equals CD pattern, again, I'll draw that in here, the A point, the week that began November 22nd, the B point, the low that takes place on March 7th, and the C point out here is March 28th. And there's your one-to-one -one which gives us a price projection of 236.28 out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at Microsoft. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, definitely no buy the D point inside of Microsoft as we speak right now. Mimi writes in, <clears throat> please go over the profiles on APA. So let's get APA fired up here on the uh, screen. Make sure I'm in the right spot. We are. You're asking specifically, Mimi, for profile levels. You're below the daily. 42.76 was it. You're approaching the weekly, 35.69, and the monthly is all the way down at 23.09. That is APA. Um, let me see here if I can get this fired up on the other white background charts. Please go over the profiles. You're long. So what this is really telling us here. So let me try. One, let me test one other thing out. So on the daily time frame, there was a swing point that formed on April 25th. Had 10 million shares which was tested yesterday with 13 million shares. I didn't actually test it. The test took place today. Today's, uh, yesterday, 11 point, about 12 million shares was testing 10 million shares that said we'd be back down there. We're back down there today. So from a swing point standpoint, it has not proven itself to us from a bottom. But again, you've got support at 35.69. As we switch over and look at the white background charts, let's just see if there's anything there to assist you, Mimi. The white background charts, you could get a TD9 count on a monthly basis. That's a top. The daily's got road cement indicator signals. 
If price closes below that low, that low is one that we took a look at where the swing point was testing 36.98. I would say it closed below 36.98, you're headed to 32.13, the TD9 count breakout level for its daily time frame. So Mimi, thanks so much for writing in. I hope that helps you out and have a, a wonderful Wednesday. David in Panama City wants to take a look at Goldman Sachs. GS is the ticker symbol out there. So let me get that fired up. And uh, Goldman Sachs, you've got the 290 puts for the May 20th expiration. So as we take a look at Goldman Sachs, let's see here. It's populated. Let me switch uh, screens. Well, oh, here we go. We're getting up to speed here. So you're looking for 290. We're trading right now at uh, 305. Monthly chart suggests lower price. Weekly chart suggests lower price, but says caution. The caution is that Goldman Sachs on a weekly basis wave number seven, that's letter G. Now, in order to confirm that pattern, you have to have a higher low. So the earliest confirmation of that would be next week. If it doesn't confirm a bottom, 270.62 is your mark. But you're looking at May 20th, so you don't have a ton of time. The daily time frame, no bottom signal yet. If you did, if it did, well, hold on. Hold on, Stevie. <laughs> yeah, no bottom signal. But if you did get a bullish reversal candle, that might say, hey, this is headed to 317, 321 before it would get down to your 290 area out there. Hmm. Goldman Sachs. So it's below all profiles without any real significant bottom pattern in forming here and on the intraday charts are not showing much either so i like the call out here um the caution would be watch the daily if you get a bullish reversal candle david then you might want to consider closing out that trade so i hope that helps you out next question coming from alan p and alan wants to take a look at xbi so xbi let's get that going on our charts out here and alan's question is been following biotech for a while do you see it going lower or do you see it consolidating here volume last three days looks high thanks alan so let's uh, see what we've got here what set of charts are we looking at the white ones so let me do this okay we've got xbi up on the white background charts doesn't look good i'm going to start with the monthly looks like it still wants to head lower td9 count top forms february 2021 we're at our third breakout level, and that's at 64.30. We're at 63.88. Shoot. That says it still wants lower price. That's coming from the monthly time frame chart. It's broken all kinds of level of support. The weekly time frame, the same thing. It's broken. I've got to put more data in here to see where the next breakout level is. I'm not going to do that. I'm just not going to waste the time to do that because this still shows it wants lower price. So XBI in the weekly and monthly say lower price. The daily says the only way that this is going to form some type of bottom and some type of bounce is if you get some type of bullish reversal candle. That would then confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, which could only take you up to the 7023-ish level or above that 7667. But no daily bottom pattern here. Your question is, do I see this going lower? The monthly chart says yes. The weekly chart says yes. The daily chart says yes. I think the answer to our question with regard to XBI is it wants to head lower. So, Alan P., thanks much for writing in. Hope that helps you out. And we'll talk to you again soon, I hope. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. <clears throat>Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC. 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, this chart here that we're looking at is a uh, chart, a, a monthly chart for the uh, Dow. And the blue and red horizontal lines that are out here are the uh, horizontal trading range boundary lines. The blue ones are for the daily time frame. The red ones are for the monthly time frame. And it's a monthly chart that we're looking at. These uh, lines were uh, first introduced to me by Bud Rolfs, used to be a contributor here at TFNN years back. And uh, what these lines are really representing is they go through the data series that you have out here. So this data series takes us back into 1997, I believe. And what it looks for, it looks for the largest number of co-located opens or closes. I mean, we're looking just at the body of the candle, either the open or the close. And it looks and it, what it does is it calculates the area where there's the largest concentration and figures out where the next area is. And that helps us to establish these trading ranges. You can see those monthly trading ranges have been really critical out here. I mean, if you look at the high back in 2000, that's where it ran into resistance, the 14051 level, or that was the 2007 high, my apology out there. But let's talk about where we're at today. So the blue ones represent daily data, the red ones monthly data. And that's why you're going to have different horizontal trading range boundary lines. What we can see here right now is prices testing a real key area. And that real key area called the 31868 level. If we see a close below that, that would... <coughs> suggest lower price out there. So that's thought I would share that chart with you. Let's go to our next question. Next question from inside the Tiger's Den. SNP wants to take like a look at Devon Energy. So right now, Devon Energy is just consolidating with inside its daily profile, SNP. That is between the range of 6309 to 6842. Let's go take a look at the white background charts for this. See if we got any additional information to share with you. Um, oh, I can't believe I just did that. Oh, well, I did it. And now we're going to see if we're going to be able to get to that screen anytime soon. No, we, it looks like we're going to be able to. I hit the wrong button, and I started populating something. No, oh, jeez. Give me a second here to try to get to it. That's where we really wanted to go. So here's Devon Energy. So on a monthly basis, 
Lee, um, SNP, this has the potential to top because you're in the bar following bar number nine. Weekly time frame, no topping signal yet. Daily time frame does have a roads to indicator top. But as I, we talked about, it's just really led to a consolidation with inside the daily profile out there. If you did get too close below 63.10, you could head back all the way to its breakout level of support of 52.78. Do I see anything else of significance out here? Not really. It does look like price wants to continue to pull back from a short-term standpoint. You had a TD9 count top on the 30-minute chart. You're below the oscillator and change line. That would suggest a further retracement is in order for Debon Energy. Um, but uh, I don't see necessarily reason for you to jettison this position at this stage. But definitely use a stop out there. So S&P, I hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Our next question, I believe we've got another one here by email. We do. It's LB. And uh, it says, can we take a look at URA? So we most certainly can. Let me try to get that fired up here. That is uranium. And uh, while the white background charts are populating, let me see if I've got anything out here for Lee on the black background charts. So the question is, can we look at it? I'm looking to increase your position. And also, if we have the time, can we take a look at ICD? So uh, uranium trading below daily, weekly, and now monthly profiles. So not really a great thing. Let's uh, switch over to our, oh, we're on the white background chart. So here on the white background chart, you can see price right now is below the bottom of its monthly profile. Not great. You're not just below the bottom of the weekly profile after a TD9 count top. You're now below the breakout level of 2027. Now it's a weekly chart. Price might be able to close back above it, but hold 2027. We'll call it the intermediate term bullish. But right now the signal is that uranium should pull back to 1674, or URA, the uh ETF for uranium. That's the next breakout level. No bottoming signal on the daily time frame. You've got an A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, I'm going to calculate what that move is uh, out here on my other charts. So real quickly, um, yeah, let's make this the B point. That's the May 2nd is the B point, the C point May 5th. So your one-to-one -one price projection would be about 1805 one one point two seven about sixteen thirty six, so that uh, it's really kind of suggesting getting that sixteen seventy four level, the weekly breakout area where you would then complete your daily A to B equals C D to the uh, downside ish pattern out there. That's all that I see. I don't see anything good when we take a look at uranium, not as we speak right now. So Lee, I hope that helps you out. You also wanted to take a look at I C D. So let's go ahead and get that populated. See if we can find anything better to help you with out there. An ICD is Independence Contract Drilling. Now, this is trading below the bottom of its daily, its weekly, and it's trading into the monthly support level of 255. Let's see if this populates what we get out here. Hmm. What are we seeing? So, Stevie does not have a lot of good news today. I hate days like that. I like to give good news. The price is trading right now below its breakout level on its daily time frame, Lee, of 352. That suggests price may target the next breakout level. That's down at 264. That's what the daily chart shows us. Weekly chart, been a lot of sideways movement out here. So at some point in time, this is going to turn into something because there's basically a lot of accumulation going on. That accumulation area is between 296, TD9 count breakout level, and 552, TD9 count breakdown level. So the breakout to breakdown level out there. So you've just got a good old-fashioned consolidation, it would appear, going on inside of ICD. So, Lee, I hope that helps you out. Thanks for taking the time to write in and for all your kind wishes out there. Um, hmm. Okay, uh, I think, Alan, you've got that response on that. Okay, so I think we've taken care of all the questions. I know we've taken care of all the questions that have come in by email. Let me see if I've got anything here inside the main chat area. And and I wasn't in that area. So if there's something that you want me to look at if you're inside the Tiger's Den, if you post it in right now, I'll be happy to get to that. In the meantime, what I should do is what? What, what have we taken a look at out here that folks might be interested in? Uh, let's go take a look at the ES Mini. Let me make sure we're on the right screen here. Yeah. So let's take a look at what uh, signals are inside the ES Mini. Let's see if we 
couldn't find anything out here. Right now, you've got the markets are, where are they at? You've got uh, the Dow's off 237 right now. Everything is red. Um, nearly everything is red out there. So the ES Mini, as this populates. So just bar number four on the daily time frame. Price below the weekly breakout level out here. Um, intraday, is there any kind of a signal? Nothing yet, for sure. Hmm. ES Mini is no, we're not getting any real great signs here from the ES Mini. Now, the 15 minute chart, <laughs> we get to Ultra, trying to form a Rhodesman to indicator bottom. That could give you a bounce if it does confirm. Well, 15 minutes is going to be 10 minutes from now. Too soon to call on that one. We're only five minutes into the bar. So we'll skip that uh, market call there. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. With market volatility roaring back in April, Larry Pesavento has just announced a five-hour live trading webinar coming up on May 17th. Larry Pesavento is a 56-year trading veteran and has mastered his trading skills through many different market fluctuations. Join Larry on May 17th as he hosts a live five-hour trading webinar from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, giving you insight into how he analyzes the market and decides his plays. Larry will delve deep into the ABCD trading pattern, explaining how to structure your trading day, the times most likely to generate signals, which signals to ignore, and how to use the pattern to mitigate risk. In this all-day five-hour live trading webinar, take a seat by Larry's side as he trades the market's real time, including the Dow and S&P 500 E-mini, crude oil, natural gas, gold, treasury bonds, wheat and soybeans, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen, and more. If you've ever wanted to get inside the mind of a market master, you cannot miss this live trading webinar. To sign up today, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So you got all the U.S. indices trading the downside. The last request coming in from the Tigers Den was to, you know, close out the show doing a detailed review of the NQ out here. And uh, th this, I just noticed this. 
Um, and it's really because of the last uh, couple of days activity out here. But right now, the NQ is trading below last year's low. Duna, okay. Um, it's trading below last year's low, and that is a, a bearish uh, sign out here. But uh, before we continue with this, we've got a call. It's Roger in Boulder, Colorado. Roger, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Oh, wonderful. Thanks. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. Uh, quick one. Uh, I know you went through Apple, yep. and I was just looking at on a weekly basis um, the the Fibonacci retracement of. Um, March uh, March low of 19 to January high, and it kind of coincides with A to B 1.382% of smaller A to B equals C to D. So if you look at the two-day match, uh, they coincide at 38.2%, and the other one would be 138.2%. Do you see any significance on this? So if, if I were to do a, let me just change my screens here. So I pulled up a weekly time frame chart because that was what you first referenced for me. And so right. for my work, the very first uh, retracement level that I would look at, I think you mentioned this, but I'm not sure, but I would go from the lows of March of 2020, the week that began March 23rd, and I would go all the way up to the high in Apple, which is the week that began January 3rd, 2022. The 0 0.382 retracement on that would take us to 133.36. If I had to look here to figure out where would I generate my next possible retracement level, I'm kind of struggling to do that. And I apologize that we're running out of time here, Roger. Maybe tomorrow you can call back okay. in and you and I will go through the uh, Fibonacci stuff and everything with regard to Apple. We just don't have the time to do that today. But right now, my 0 0.382 retracement is 133.36. So sorry that we're out of time. Thanks for calling in. Hey, folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Tom O'Brien will take us home, and I'll be back with you tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Thanks for joining us.